So here is a simple TypeScript component. We extend the component properties of a button component and we explicitly state the disabled property. And then also we add a new state which is called a loading state that does not exist in an actual button component. Then we forward the ref so we can pass references to the button and we pass all the properties here and we state that this button will have a disabled state if it's actually disabled or if it's in a loading state. To test your React components, we are going to use a library called React Testing Library, which is the state of the art library to test your React components. So, to quickly use this library, let's execute this command, but only in our React package. So, yarn workspace React, then add, and as a development dependency, this library. But to use this, we will also install some additional libraries that they are required, like the test DOM library. And then install test. And then we need some supporting libraries in order to transform the TypeScript syntax and everything to plain JavaScript. So we will use Babel for this job. And now that everything is installed, let's jump back to our code editor, get to the React package, and let's create a file called jest.config.js. And this is a really simple configuration, just that we will use as a test environment the JS DOM. And then we can create one more file, babel.config.js and paste this one. And we are doing this manually as we did not use any create react package. So we have to set this up uh, ourselves. Probably we will be ready to go and let's create a new folder called two underscore tests, two underscores. And then here let's test our button, button.test.tsx. So here we have our first test and what we are doing, we are creating a mock function that will listen to the on-click events. We render a button and then we fire a fake click on the screen and we expect the, the mock function to have been called one time and then to have a text content of demo button, which is basically what we render. So this is a pretty basic test. And to actually use this, we will go to our package file and add a new script, which is the test script, and then just run test. And again, the same approach, we target the React package and we run the test script. Now it runs the test and everything works as expected. Thanks for watching this new line tutorial. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. It helps other students find our content.